Welcome to James's <clears throat> writing class. And today I will give you tips and tricks on how to write. First thing you're going to need is Microsoft Word. If you really want to do it hard, then just get a pen and paper. But I like to write on Microsoft Words. I like the words to flow through my fingers. So, first thing, first tip on writing is don't. Yes, writing is very hard. There's going to be a lot of people who are against you. And sometimes it is very discouraging. But if you love to write, keep writing. But if you only want to write because you think you're going to get rich for publishing, then you need to just stop writing now. Because sometimes you're not going to get rich just because you publish. Next on the list, oops, is to spell everything correctly. Spelling is important. If you don't spell, you're not a writer, apparently. That's what people say. You need to learn how to spell correctly because if you don't, People will judge you on everything you do. Even if you have a typo, they will judge you on it. Other authors, it's hard to say this, but other authors do not support other authors. Having a typo makes other authors go, you shouldn't write because you can't spell or you have bad grammar. But you know what? Editors are there for a reason. So if you can't spell or have bad grammar, but you have a story to tell, go for it. Do it. Three. Huh. I didn't know I could do a list like that. I didn't press three. Freaky. Cool. Okay. Three. Have a plot. Make sure you write the beginning of your story and the end of your story. Then the middle will fall into place. Like with the sandwich, you always have the bread. And then you always start with the end of the bread. It's your job to fill in the middle. Figure out your ending. Figure out the beginning. And then just fill in what you need. Boom. Boom. Four, have fun. Always have fun with your writing. Be expressionist. Be loud. Be whatever you want. Express yourself in your writing. If you have emotions, go for it. If you have darkness, go for it. Put yourself into writing. And then you'll be great at everything, really. And then, research. And I can't spell, so I don't care. Research is important. Like, if you're doing some stuff like fiction, or even non-fiction sometimes. But fiction, you really don't have to do a lot of research, but you should do some. Like, if you make a Native American character, you want to get their history a little bit right. You want to make that Native American character pop. So research Native American culture. Look it up. Research it. Learn stuff about it. And history, yes. You could use history, but in fiction, you could change history up. Make history your own. And that's the good thing about writing fiction, is you could change things up and make it totally different from what you know. Nonfiction is hard because you have to get the facts right. That's why I like to write fiction. Hero. Get your hero out there. Whatever hero you want, even if it's a romantic hero, or a funny hero, or a fun hero, or even a superhero, get them out there. Only you can bring the, your hero to light. Whatever hero you want, bring them out there. Now, number seven is, um, what would number seven be, honestly? Well, bad 
reviews. You're going to have bad reviews. People are not going to like your books. That's fine. You need to learn that. See, I love the Percy Jackson books, but I hate Harry Potter books. I can't get through Aragon, but I like Twilight. Just because you hate a book, or just because you write this book, doesn't mean anyone's going to like it. I mean, I like certain books. I'm right now reading the Dexter book series, and I'm loving it. And maybe after that, I'll read a different series. And after that, I'll read a different series. But to me, Harry Potter was a weak series. I couldn't even get through the first book. The movies were great, but the books were just horrible. Now, Twilight, I like Twilight. It was a different take on vampires. And that's going to be number eight. Change things. See, the thing is that Stephanie Myers did was she made Vampire Sparkle. Yeah, it was kind of a weird take on it, but you know what? It was smart. She made her vampires her own original idea, and people hated it for her. For it. And you know what the bad thing is? I didn't mind it. I didn't mind that Vampire Sparkled. I didn't mind that they pretty much had glowing yellow eyes and stuff like that, and they wanted animal blood and stuff like that. She took her own idea and changed it into her own book. You know what? People still love it. Twilight is what got me into reading, honestly. And you know what the thing is? She did it. She changed things up. She made it good. And then people loved her books but hated her books. Because vampires shouldn't sparkle. But you know, if you have an idea, if you think your vampire should sparkle, or you think your vampire should... Drink cow blood instead of human blood. Go for it. Do what you want with your book. It's your book, your idea. And that goes to number nine. Pleasing. And of course, I can spell. Oh, it spelled for me. Cool. You're not going to please everyone. But the most important person to please is yourself. You don't write for other people. You write for yourself. If you have a, a black character or a white character, a Asian character... That's fine. Do what you want. Do what you think is right for your character. But don't put those characters in your book just because other people say so. Oh, you need more this and that and that and this. If you want to have an all-black cast, an all-white cast, an all-purple cast, do it. It's your book. You do what you want. Don't let other people tell you how to write. And number 10. Number 10, well, I was making this skit kind of thing as a joke and honestly I kind of went on a rant but you know what I say write write on write anything you want write whatever you want do what you want if you want to be a writer that's fine if you want to publish a book just to publish a book that's fine if you want to publish a book to get rich then go to number one because you there's maybe a chance you won't get rich there might be a chance you will but you never know. But if you're publishing a book just for money, then go back to number one. Don't. Write because you think it's fun. Write because it's an adventure. Write because you want to inspi inspire people. Don't write for money. Write because you want to inspire people. And I was making this thing as a joke just to goof on writers because I like writing and I goof on art art students enough so I wanted to goof on my own self so write whatever you want and hopefully one day your book will be on a shelf and if it happens to make you successful then there you go I mean look at Twilight they change things up people hate it but people love it and Stephanie Myers <laughs> she probably doesn't have to write again if she didn't want to well, I hope you guys have a nice day, and I hope you guys like the skit. And one other thing. If someone says you can't write because you can't spell or you have bad grammar, don't listen to them. I'm bad at grammar. I'm bad at spelling. But you know what? I write really well. And you know what? There are editors out there that will help you through whatever you're going through. If you have bad spelling and grammar, editors will be out there to help you. So, have a nice day.